Time in less than a week, St. Charles County Police have arrested another accused sexual predator. This case involves a daycare worker who admits to abusing a child. Melanie Johnson live in the St. Charles County Jail tonight telling us about the special unit that was crude, quintessential, or quintessential in tracking down that suspect. Melanie. Yeah, we're live outside the St. Charles County Jail where that daycare worker is locked up tonight after admitting to touching a four-year-old girl. Police would not tell us the name of the daycare to protect the preliminary stages of this investigation, but they did tell us their special unit found out and arrested the suspect within hours. Parents are trying to do the best they can, and then to hear something like this take place at a place they thought their children were safe, I know that has to be very shocking. Disheartening details coming out of St. Charles County Wednesday. Police say this is a high priority case at a place where kids go to learn. Now it's at the center of a child sexual abuse investigation. He admitted in a Miranda's interview uh, to possessing child pornography, um, also to the charges of having um, committed uh, uh, Child molestation, second degree. Police say officers arrested Rudolph Lavity Monday at the St. Peter's daycare where he was a part of the kitchen staff. We're told the 19 year old admitted to committing crimes against children, including sexually assaulting a four year old girl. St. Charles County Cyber Task Force captured Lavity within six hours of learning where he worked. Tips come in regularly. Uh, they're a very, very active unit. Um, unfortunately, crimes of this nature are increasing. Their relationship with the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children and Missouri Internet Crimes Against Children is what sparked the Lavity investigation. Police say the accused predator also confessed to having inappropriate conversations about kids and downloading child porn using the daycare's Wi-Fi. And make sure you're having conversations with your children, even if they're young. Less than a week ago, St. Charles County Police took this man, Timothy Fry, into custody on six felony charges. Fry's now out on bond after police caught him with videos and pictures of nude women without their consent. Some taken under skirts and bathrooms, and police say some of the victims may be underage girls. This discovery also came from a tip. The Cyber Crimes Task Force also investigating both cases. See something, say something is very important. Now he is still in jail with no bond. He's facing two high level felonies. As far as that four year old girl, she is receiving services tonight, but police say there are no other victims, but they are encouraging anyone with new information to reach out to them. We're live in St. Charles County. Melanie Johnson, first alert four. Daniel.